Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea D2. In the last episode, we did a whole bunch of post-game stuff. And uh, now I am going to demo a couple of characters. You can see Asagi here is the main character. We are doing all of our demos from now on in the uh, in my main file. Uh, as you can see, Razbarrel has a ton of levels. Uh, she's going to be one of the uh, units we're demoing today. Uh, the rest should all be fine, though. <laughs> so, um, actually, I should probably turn off my, uh, should probably turn off the Land of Carnage. <laughs> Been using that to, uh, the, the mass, uh, mega grind, you know, mega giga grind. Yeah, turning off the Land of Carnage. Because we are going to show off against the weak and defenseless. Ya ha ha. Alright, so, got seven characters to show off today. I picked seven because uh, the odds splitting up a certain group of them. First up, uh, Liliel, the main character of the Guided Fate Paradox. I know nothing about her. But, uh, she, she apparently likes staffs, she's got pretty decent, uh, int, uh, she got a pretty decent res aptitude, uh, not so much int, but, I mean, you can't use res to attack unless you're on a reverse healing panel and stuff. Got a couple of, uh, got a couple of special skills here, no magic, surprisingly. And her ability, Healing Barrier, uh, lets allies recover a bit of HP by moving. This isn't quite as good as uh, I made it out to be when I first discovered her, so uh, she might be taken off my item world team at some point in the future. But that is not important right now. What is important is we've been chosen. Okay. What is that? Is that a senior's doll? Eh, I'm not really sure what kind of doll that is. Counts as a book, though. Uh, this is, in fact, her uh, her default equipment. I think. Lil's divine skill. Is that... was that like a ride-on lawnmower or something, and now it's a missile lawn... What the heck? That's a lot of the uh, costume changes. <laughs> oh no, does she work for the Mushroom God from the... <laughs> Phantom Brave in Disgaea 4? All world angel solo. Please be damned. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is like a judgment from Golden Sun. <laughs> pretty neat. Okay, next up. If I can find him in my uh, crew. It's Mao, the protagonist of Disgaea 3. He is the uh, he is the son of the dean of Evil Academy, which is a uh, high school type netherworld. He's also a gigantic mad science geek. As you can see, he uh, specializes in ice and star spells. Uh, all of his, well, two of his specials are star element. His ability is demon experiments. Within three panels, allies deal more damage and enemies take more damage. Which is pretty cool. Good to uh, see this guy as a, a buffer. Or a support unit, since his uh, ability modifies damage directly. 
These are, this is his uh, default equipment. Uh, you can see he likes swords and books a lot, and he's got equal attack and int aptitudes. You could make him a staff user if you wanted, I suppose. But we are not see here to see his uh, spells. We are here to see his unique skills. Blastfinger has a uh, bit of an increase in movement over what it was in Disgaea 3. bit less uh, dynamic than his uh, animation in Disgaea 3, uh, but that's fine, I guess. Shine Beam uh, looks about the same. Uh, it's got more power than it did in Disgaea 3. about how it used to. And if I can find him again. Once again, the impossible to pronounce Vasa Airgun, which has a completely different uh, range and area of effect. This is also stronger. Get out of here. It's time for Razbaro, the rival from Disgaea 3. Ra Razbaro is the uh, number one delinquent in Evil Academy, uh, meaning she doesn't act very much like a demon at all. She volunteers, she picks up trash, she donates blood, you know, all that goody two shoes stuff that, uh, in her words, it makes her the ultimate badass at school. <laughs> She is a monster type, uh, sadly. I mean, you would think books with books being a thing, she could have a slot as a humanoid unit, but whatever. Her abilities, uh, I have been reincar- well, I haven't reincarnated her a lot, but yeah, she likes magic, and she likes magic a lot. So, uh, let's blah 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 blah, she learns uh, five tiers of fire skills, which is very nice, because I did not specialize in fire at all uh, during my playthrough, and the enemies in Cave of Ordeal 6 are weak to fire. <laughs> so, it's good that Razbaro joined the party when she did. Love Thy Heart increases damage dealt by 50% if the enemy's level is higher. Pretty good for grinding. She's got three special skills, as well as her mounted skill. First up, D rule recycle. <laughs> I love that quote. <laughs> All right, Barrel, we're going to keep going. D rule volunteer. <laughs> this is like a problem sleuth. Uh, this is the problem sleuth skill school of a uh, special skill naming. D rule eco friend. She and Barrett would go along great. It's a very, it's a very, uh, 
It's a very eco-friendly uh, poison hydra you got there, Beryl. We're all very impressed. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, let's get Flan out here and show off a uh, show off a mounted skill. That just looks silly. But hey, ultimate bookmark. Stylish. <laughs> Not particularly useful, but stylish. Okay, next up, we have Zeta, the most badass freaking overlord in the cosmos. He's... He is, uh, in theory, the protagonist... Uh, well, no, he is the protagonist of, uh... Of, uh, Makai Kingdom for the PS2, uh, released in 2005, but... Uh, you don't actually play as him, technically. Because, <laughs> uh, for the entire game, he is confined to a book, and you have to, uh, make generic units do stuff for him. It's a thing. But, uh, here he is in the flesh, and, uh, he is very much the badass he was always made out to be. Increase attack power by 20% plus 1% per 200 levels. The jury is still out on whether that applies across reincarnations or not. But, uh, hey, it's this thing. As for his stats, uh, he's got equal attack and int, prefers swords and books just like Mao. Which is, uh, curious. And all of his, uh, skills are star elemental. Go figure. Rumor has it he spoils his daughter. And because he is in his default equipment, he can't actually reach that Mothman that's over there. Oh, I just realized I'm uh, <laughs> I'm recording this using my stream setup. Whoops. <laughs> anyway, Zeta Beam spread. Improve to shoot a larger area. The, uh, the jury is out on that. I mean, it seems to hit the same uh, range I expected it to. It's not like it hits a one-by-one -one area, I don't think. Badass Overdrive! Very high ranking skill. <laughs> How very meta there, Zeta. Finally, one inch Zeta Beam. It's a Big Bang area of effect, which is nice, except that uh, Cave of Ordeals doesn't really call for that anymore. I'm the badass. Uh, Point blank Zeta wave beam. motion gun. Wow. Blast away. Impressive there, Zeta. Okay. Next up, we have Pram, a supporting character from Makai Kingdom. If I can uh, find her. Why didn't I make uh, Pram join the pun? Well, it's because I'm using monsters. But yeah, uh, Pram's ability changes every turn. 
let's uh, let's see if I can look up a list of them because uh, this ought to, this ought to be good. I forgot about this, therefore I was unprepared. Okay, she's got four of them. Prophecy of Judgment deals damage to one random enemy at the end of the turn. Prophecy of Poison inflicts enemy units with poison at the end of the turn. Prophecy of Anger increases her attack power by 100%. Prophecy of Wisdom increases ally int by 50%. Is that really all of them? Could have sworn there were more. Oh well. She learns five tiers of ice and four tiers of star skills. And look at that 99% water affinity. She definitely knows what she is all about, and she is all about the ice. Also, 150% int aptitude. That's higher than anybody else I've seen in this game. So, yeah, if you need a powerful caster, uh, Pram is it. Although, honestly, I would rather use monsters given the uh, state of things in this game. <laughs> this might actually be the first uh, Disgaea where monsters are, like, super ultra important. Then again, maybe I was playing 3 and 4 wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are not here to see her magic. We are here to see her magic. Starting with freezing... Blah, 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 blah. Fle f fleezing prop... Fleezing Plophacy. <clears throat> I mean, okay. There's that uh, ability going off. doesn't seem to affect her. It does affect uh, her allies. Okay. That is good to know. Ice Mirror! It's like Zemnis and Phantom Ganon had a baby. Very evil baby. Frost Dragon! Nice! Follow me, Frost Dragon! So, yeah! <laughs> that was fun! She, uh, she very clearly had paws and claws there, so, uh, hmm. I need to get a freeze frame of that. <laughs> Finally, we have Alexander, the God of Destruction, a, uh, another supporting character in, in Makai Kingdom. He shows up as a recurring boss a few times. Yes, that's redundant. I don't care. <laughs> this is his ability. Uh, deals damage to a random number of enemy units at the end of a turn. Which is, you know, pretty cool, I guess. He's got 140% attack, which is nice. He prefers axes. And, hmm. He seems to like wind a lot, but not enough to have 99% in wind, evidently. Let's start with Lightning Vortex. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> Passive counter. Or something, I don't know. I'll, I'll go with something. 
Where are you at, Alex? Here you are. Vanishing Bolt! You're the god of lightning. Why are you the manifestation of rain? That was the kanji for wind, uh, that was the kanji for lightning. That's it. So yeah, Fujin and Raijin uh, all rolled into one. Also, you ended the battle before I could show off your last skill. of lightning the roar of thunder my final form has a very awkward area of effect it's the eye of the storm i guess very cool all right so our final character for today is salvatore a supporting character from disgaea D well, I guess she's kind of sort of an antagonist from uh, Disgaea 3. You can see that uh, she is a one of the Diaz gentlemen, the top 10 uh, students in the senior class. Actually, is she the senior class president? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, one of the top ten students in the uh, senior class at Evil Academy. You can see that she uh, likes guns, and she likes them a lot. She's got a couple of skills here, and like Pram, her ability is random. Let's see if I can look this up. She's got a couple of them. Command J increases the jump of adjacent ally units by 99 uh, to a max of 99. Command S increases the range of attacks and spells of adjacent ally units by 9 up to a maximum of 16. Command G decreases damage taken by adjacent allies by 90%. Command A increases attack power of adjacent allies by 100%. Command M increases adjacent ally movement by 10 panels. <laughs> Wowzers. She and Barbara would get along perfectly. <laughs> I like that. So, yeah. Uh, definitely a good supporter, if a bit uh, unpredictable. Short recoil. I always picture Francisco von Karma as sounding like, uh, sounding like Salvatore here. The Great Gun King. Magnificent world. Don't be late. There. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, we are uh, 
going to table the unfortunate implications for later. <laughs> that's, uh, that's all the characters I wanted to show off tonight. Thank you all for watching. Join me tomorrow for uh, some more post-gamey goodness. Bye-bye for now.